Hi, I'm Sarah Worrell from Lake Superior Elementary School in Ashland, Wisconsin on the south shore of Lake Superior. I was in the Rivers to Lakes program and I also teach the second grade. Today we are looking at what is beneath our feet. Our nature nibble for the week of June 1st truly rocks. Did you know the land beneath you has a long history going back millions of years? Each rock has its own story to tell. Was it formed by a volcano? Was it brought by a glacier from another place? Or was it made from sand that settled on the bottom of an ancient lake? There are three types of rocks based on how they are formed. Igneous, sedimentary, and metamorphic. Igneous are formed by volcanoes. When lava or magma in the earth cools, it forms igneous rocks, such as basalt and granite. Sedimentary rocks are formed when sand or other sediment are deposited over time, like sandstone. Metamorphic rocks are formed when a rock that is already formed is put under a lot of pressure, like gneiss. Now I'm going to turn it over to Camille to tell us a little bit about the history of sandstone cliffs around Bayfield and the Apostle Islands. Hi, my name is Camille Lemler and I'm a teacher at Bayfield Elementary School. I was a part of the Rivers to Lakes program this past year. I am here to tell you all about how the sea caves were formed. The story of the sea caves begins over one billion years ago. During that time, Rivers and streams carried sandy sediments from hills down to this area. Eventually, so much sediment built up in this area that it filled in. And that is how we see the sandstone rocks that we see on the cliffs today. So how did the sea caves form? Well, Lake Superior has lots of waves, and those waves are really powerful. Have you ever been in Lake Superior when a wave was coming to shore? same action bashes against the rock on the cliff. The wave action erodes little pieces of sandstone, creating weak spots in the rock. Eventually, these weak spots are carved out and that's what creates a cave. Now back to Sarah and Ashlyn. Thanks for that look at how the sea caves are formed, Camille. When I go to the beach, I like to look for rocks. I like to pick up a rock and think about its history. I found these rocks here, a basalt and a granite, which are examples of igneous rocks. And I found gneiss, which is an example of a metamorphic rock. What type of rocks do you see around you? Have you ever collected a rock from a stream or the beach? How did it get there? On your Nature Nibble worksheet, draw a picture of your favorite rock and take a guess as to what it is. Let's go investigate! Fun nature fact of the day. Lake Superior is known for its agates. Agates are sedimentary rocks. They form when water drips through air pockets in igneous rocks called vesicles. Sediment left behind after the water is gone creates beautiful agates like these. <laughs>